Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Dr. Odu here, you know, of the um, Success and Happiness Show. I'm a, I'm a life a relationship coach, uh, the, a pastor, you know, the founder of uh, Changing a Generation. Uh, I'm an author and also speaker. Uh, I also mentor. I'm an advocate of biblical uh, success and happiness. So uh, today, I know surely that um, a lot of people struggle with this idea of uh, success and happiness. And uh, for many years, I've um, really been privileged you know, to work in this area. So I advocate even for uh, biblical uh, success and happiness. Today, I am privileged uh, to, to have with me uh, George Ross, you know, the former executive vice president and senior counsel of the Trump Organization, and also uh, a, a celebrity judge, you know, for the business uh, TV show, and also the uh, the, the, the NBC uh, reality show, show called Apprentice. By the way, he's also a, a bestseller. He's an author, so <laughs> we are privileged to 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 have. Uh, to have him here today, and I look, I know surely that uh, we're going to be blessed. Welcome, George. Oh, good. Thanks for having me. It's, it's my pleasure. How are you doing? I'm doing just fine. What can I do for you? Yeah, um, I really want to pick your brain, you know, on some things because it is not every day that you have a, you know, a ninety-something-year-old successful uh, great man to talk to. So I really want to pick your brain on some aspect of uh, uh, of, of what I'm what I specialize on and what I'm really focused on, and and this is to advocate and to drive you know uh, biblical uh, success and happiness. So and I know surely that you have been asked this question a lot. So I just want to start with this. You know what okay. is the secret of your success? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that would be my first question. And, and looking at it, this, uh, uh, looking back and say, uh, 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 basically, my life over the, over the, or, you know, for, for 90 some odd years, and figure out happiness is, is being content with all aspects of your life. Wow. All aspects of your life. One, your aspects are one. One is how much money do you make? What do you need for things you want to buy? And the second part is, your personal relationship, which is you, with you, with your community, with your church, with your friends mm. and your family. If you can balance them, you will be happy and content. If you don't balance them, you got a problem because whichever one is out of balance is going to create a problem for the other one. Mm. So it's, it's, it's a, a lifestyle. And I find interesting in what is in your profession, which is a profession at it. You have the ability or, or to tell people, you're not going to live forever. Nobody does. Nobody does. I agree. Right. Now, what are you going to do in your life that makes it worthwhile? Mm. Now, and to convince them how to do something that they, that they find pleasant, pleasing, or can help it. And my personal feeling a long time ago is this. I said, I just want to know mm. in my own mind that because of what I did, who I spoke to, who I coached, and everything that the world is a better place than it was if I weren't here. Mm. If, that, if the answer is yes, I'm satisfied. But that's me. Yeah. All right. And I think that everyone has some trait or some ability that they can give to other people that don't have that trait and make them better people, make them more aware, make them a little more uh, understanding about what other people are going through. So if somebody's got a lot of money, understand people who don't have money. Somebody who doesn't have money, understand people who do. So it's, it's getting along and understanding mm. everything that's going on in the life. Wow, that's good. Thank you very much. You know, like I said, you know, you are a very successful man. Um, you, uh, God has really blessed you. Um, so if you're going to say one thing, you know, what will you say is the key to your success? Uh, okay, the key to my success, I think, is is very easy to say. The key to success is I am ready to recognize what I, where I'm, I'm short. I have my shortcomings. Mm -hmm. 
what do I do that's bad, that's not that good? You know, do I have a tendency not to let other people talk? That's not good. Mm. So I figure out what I don't do well and how do I improve upon that rather than to concentrate on what I do do well, which doesn't need the improvement. Mm. So if you understand what you don't know and you're willing to do that, that will make you a better person because you're, you're focusing on the right area. Exactly. And that is exactly what I'm trying to do here uh, because there are some things that I know, uh, but there are so many things that, 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 that I don't know. Uh, so I'm reaching out you know, to people like you who can speak wisdom into the areas that I do not know. Yeah. Um, and I believe that that's, that, that's the, 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 the best approach. So my next question is this, and I, and, 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 and I really want you to speak you know, directly to this. Um, life is not easy. You know, on a daily basis, we, we are faced with uh, difficulties. Uh, we are faced with uh, set, setbacks. We are faced with uh, obstacles here and there. So from your, from your experience, how can we overcome setback in life? Well, you say setback, it's, a, it's not a setback, it's a mile, it's a, it's a, a temporary stoppage. Mm. All right, it's not a setback. You can, well, yeah. how, first of all, you have to figure how important is it mm. in the overall scheme of things. If it's important, I got to do it. But I find that many people will take something that's very minor and that becomes important. Yeah. And therefore, so you have to say, what's really important? First thing is your health. Mm. If you are healthy, you're healthy. Everything else is second best. Mm. So put put it in proper perspective. If it's a question of money or health, go for health. Mm. All right. So it's putting things in proper in a, in a proper perspective. Is it more important to have to, to be to deal with friends, family, and your church or or religion than to deal with business people? If the answer is yes, that's what you should be doing. Mm. Let's figure out what, what, where your importance is, where you can be of the help. Everything else is just a setback. Mm. It's not, it's, but it's temporary. Mm. It's life has got pitfalls all the time. Yeah. The idea is, yeah, but what I go past it, the other side, to get to the other side is, is the key. Mm. That is, so not to give up. Yeah. And, and say, good, what do I do? And put it in this proper perspective. How important is it? Mm. So now it says, well, hey, I lost $10,000 on that deal. How important is it? Now, if mm. that's only $10,000, it's very important. Yeah. But on the other hand, if you got 100,000, 10,000 is not, not that important. So you have to say, well, what's most important? Mm -hmm. Relationship. Mm -hmm. So one of the things my, it is most important is my relationship with my family, mm -hmm. my relationship with my friends, my mm -hmm. relationship with my church. All of those things are very are important in varying mm -hmm. degrees. So they shouldn't be the only thing mm -hmm. that you were concerned with, but it should be one of many and you put them in some type of a, an order, a priority. Mm -hmm. So if I say, if I have this, I'm, that's better than not having that. Yeah. So where do I put it? Is it most important that I make a lot of money even though I hurt some people? Or is it more important not to make a lot of money and help people? Those are decisions which you have to reach and it's, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't come out in black and white. Mm. You know, you don't have something that comes down from above and say, here, here's the answer. You got to do it yourself. Exactly. You got to have the, you can get some guidance. And generally the, the, the guidance is, is, is not that specific. So as you get to at this point of fighting religion, you have to be a, a, a nice or fair person. What does that mean? It, you can't put a definition on it because it, it's something for each individual person yeah. at this. So I can cheat, but only a little bit, or should I cheat a lot? I, you, they have to make their own uh, 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 way and decide that either they are happy or content with what they are doing, or they're not. If they're not, then how do I change it? How do I improve what's, what's weak in what, what I do? And then do, do, do it. Yes, 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 I agree. You know, the way I actually look at it as well is that, uh, you know, setback uh, or setbacks or obstacles um, should uh, be an, an opportunity for us you to know, learn. So you should be able to learn from your setback. are an opportunity, you know, early on, very early on uh, at this, when I first met JT, 
Mm. J.T. Fox at this point, we were there, and he said, "How would you define success?" Yeah. And I and I put it put it down, and I wrote it on a napkin, which he probably has or not, and it says, "Failure plus perseverance mm. equals success." <laughs> so if you have failed or took or tried, and it turned out you failed, and you can still go on, and you learn from your failure you'll be successful because yeah. you learn from failure. You do not learn from success. Mm. Yeah. You know, and, 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 and failure or, you know, um, setbacks actually makes you stronger. Um, no question. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you for that. Um, so, you know, you were, you were, you were speaking about uh, happiness uh, early on. Um, can can unhappy people be successful? Yes. What, what do you mean? How do you, what do you what do you when you say successful in what way? Make a lot of money? Yeah. Yeah. Make, yeah. A, make a lot. Can it be at this point? Can it be? Can it make a lot of apparent friends? Maybe. Mm -hmm. No. But what makes them happy? Yeah. They they make a lot of money, uh, hurting people, making people uh, uh, miserable. Uh, yeah. But it's, 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 it's it's how how do you, would you judge someone being happy? At this, if they're doing what they like or what they can live with, and they're helping other people, and that's what they want to do, yes, they will be happy. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, if having a billion dollars makes them happy, then they're happy. At this, it's what what are you striving for in your life? Yeah. And and I'm saying uh, what I'm not saying, but as well, certainly as you get on in years. Uh, which I am there, then you, then you look and say, hey, I can't take that with me. <laughs> That's true. I, so good, I got, I made $10 million. So what, what am I gonna do with it? Mm -hmm. I can't put it in my car and take it when I'm gone, I'm gone. Yeah. So either I give it to family, I give it to church or, or the church or this, whatever. but those are the things, decisions you should be making while you're alive. Exactly. Not, it's not exist when we say, what am I gonna do now, now that I'm not really that alive? Mm. So you have to recognize the. I think what we have that life is uh, it goes goes on, but you nobody tells you when. Mm -hmm. No, so you know. I think it's written somewhere. I'm a firm believer in fate. Could it be tomorrow. Yes. Could it be a year, five years, ten years? Who knows? But as long as what you're doing on a day to day basis is something that you can live with and saying, mm -hmm. I think I'm doing something good. Yeah. Yeah. That's the answer. If you think you're doing good, something good and you are, then it's worthwhile and you're satisfied. That could be giving to charities, it could be giving, uh, taking care of friends, family, your environment, your church or whatever it is. Yeah. But that's... something that, 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 that I think is worthwhile as being part of uh, uh, human, uh, human beings and part of uh, uh, civilization. Exactly. Yeah, actually, it's actually also re re uh, related to what you're doing now because you are also give, trying to give back, you know, to people like me, uh, to the society, to our community, because uh, probably thousands of people will be listening to this uh, podcast. Um, Good. Down the line. They're going to be blessed listening to you. Good. So that, 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 that would give you some joy here. Oh, that's going to be fine. Mm. Anyway, I, you can look at my background at this point. It's important this is, this is the, because of what you're my, my background is what I was going to be an engineer. Mm. I had the grades. I was going to a first class college, right? Fine. Yeah. And my father died suddenly of a heart attack when he was 49 and I was 16. Whoa. Changed everything. What do you do now? Everything changed. It's gone. Mm. The one person in your family who was making money or keeping you, uh, giving you, he's gone. Mm. My two brothers were in the army. Now, it's easy enough to say, whoa, boy, that, that, that God gave me a very bad deal. Mm. Terrible. How do I get that? And what was poor? Not, not dirt poor, but poor. Mm -hmm. But fortunately, what had happened is my father was, was, was wise, and he had more or less prepared me for what happens in life. Mm. And so I was prepared well. as much as I could be. And he said, good. When you have one of the problem, get up and and run again. Get up and get up and do something. Get out of it. Yeah. 
do it. Life goes on. It doesn't stop because you had something that, that, you didn't, that didn't turn out your way. And that, as time went on, it became my lifestyle. Mm. And saying, look, how can I improve what I am doing? How can I make it better? And then as, as it worked out, then yes, I, I, I started to make more money. I started, I raised my family. I got involved with, with charities. And then as a result of basically the apprentice, mm. where I now found that I could communicate with people and they would listen to me, not because I was a college professor for 20 years or I did all big deals, but now because they had seen me on a television program, they said, oh, he's a celebrity. He must know what he's saying. Exactly. <laughs> so it's the celebrity status, which all of a sudden made me somebody you wanted to listen to. Mm. But all the knowledge had nothing to do with the celebrity status. Wow. All the knowledge I had was dealing with people, dealing with business situations, dealing with wife, dealing with family, all those things, and then improving them. Mm. So now, as I got older, and I basically as a teacher, I said, wait a minute. I have done, this is my life, what I have done. And it's very difficult, especially today with everything, with all the technology and I think, why don't I give back or at least communicate with other people and give them the benefit of the, uh, of 90 years. Yes, honey. And if it, if it helps them, fine. If it doesn't, that's their problem, not mine. I tried. Yeah. So that's why I basically talking to you and talking, doing the coaching and what have you, maybe make your life a little easier or maybe a little more understanding mm. on what's going on in the entire world, which is upside down. Exactly. Yeah. So even as we come to the, uh, to, uh, towards the end of uh, our time together, you know, I know surely that a lot of people, they uh, aspire to uh, get rich uh, uh, at all costs. Uh, and, I, and I believe that uh, that's the, 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 right, the, the wrong approach to that. It's never. Yeah. It's never at all costs. Mm. Mm. It's never at all costs. Uh, yeah. there, is, there is damage which you do yeah. when, you, when you go beyond certain acceptable norms that you have. Mm. So you say at all costs. So the, one boy, you say, would, would I steal? Right. <laughs> say, no, I wouldn't steal. But if I had an opportunity to steal a million dollars and not be one, would I steal? Now, the thing is the same. It's just that under certain circumstances, your decision could change. Yeah. But the truth is, and the truth is, yeah, you're a crook, you're a thief, because that's what you would do. It's just a question of how much. Yeah. So you have to say, yeah, would I, would I do it when it's, if it's a small amount, I won't do it, but it's a big amount. Wow, that's different. And this guides everybody through their life. They will take do certain things that they ordinarily wouldn't do, except the stakes are higher and they can make justify it in their own mind as to why I would do that, even though they know that it's wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I know surely that uh, um, our, our discussion is uh, we still continue, but I just want to use this opportunity uh, to say thank you, you know, for your time, for the, for the, for your wisdom. And also I want to thank all my listeners uh, because I know surely that they are blessed. I'm encouraging everyone to, um, to share this podcast and also make sure that you give me a great, great, great review. Remember, you can only be transformed by the renewing of your mind. This is what this podcast is all about. And this is what I'm all about, renewing of your mind. You know, however you want to get it, I'm probably going to uh, somebody like a uh, George, who has been there, has done it, you know, you'll be able to pick some things up. So I want to say thank you for joining me. Well, it's, my pleasure. To... it's my pleasure. And I hope the people that are listening to this, uh, taking the, the advantage of your wisdom, you're on the, you're doing what I think is appropriate and then certainly on the right track, but that's me. They have to think that it is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they have to think that it is and so forth. But I'd say anything that you can do uh, yeah. as a person, to make somebody's life better. Yeah. This to me is rewarding. Exactly, exactly. You know, to give back, you know, to help, to serve, you know, it's actually very spiritually rewarding. Yeah. And I 